Hello everyone, today we'll be looking at algebraic proof. So the first thing we're going to look at is how does it work? The question will tell you to show or prove their statement. For example, it could say to prove that the sum of two consecutive numbers is odd. Consecutive are two numbers that are next to each other like 5 and 6 or 100 and 101. These are the rules you need to remember for proof. So for consecutive numbers, your first number will be n and your second number will be n plus 1. An odd number is 2n plus 1. An even number is 2n on its own. Two consecutive odd numbers, so like 3 and 5, you'll write them as 2n plus 1 and 2n plus 3. And two consecutive even numbers, like 2 and 4, you'll write as 2n and 2n plus 2. And then if you have two different odd numbers, like 7 and 15, you'll write it as 2n plus 1 and 2m plus 1. So we're going to look at the first example question, which is prove algebraically that the sum of any two consecutive integers is always an odd number. So you first give your algebraic expressions of n and n plus 1. And then you add them together because you're looking for the sum. So n plus n plus 1 is 2n plus 1. And then with proof, you always have to give an explanation, which is the sum of two consecutive integers is always odd because even plus 1 is odd. Now we're going to look at an exam question. Prove that 3n plus 1 squared minus 3n minus 1 squared is always a multiple of 12 for all of the positive integer values of n. So, first you expand the brackets, so you have 3n plus 1 bracket 3n plus 1 minus 3n minus 1 bracket 3n minus 1. Then you expand the brackets and you change the sign of the second square bracket. I'll show you how it works. So first you expand them. So the first two brackets were expanded to 9n squared plus 6n plus 1. You put that into a square bracket and you put minus. In another square bracket, 9n squared minus 6n plus 1. Then you do subtraction, so after you change the signs, it will become 9n squared plus 6n plus 1 minus 9n squared plus 6n minus 1. And now equals 12n. And then your explanation would be that any number multiplied by 12 is a multiple of 12. The three dots means therefore, which is the mathematical way of writing therefore, which is faster than writing therefore so the three dots means therefore 3n plus 1 squared minus 3n minus 1 squared is always a multiple of 12. I hope you found this video useful please click on the like and subscribe buttons for more content from this channel and please feel free to share with others thank you for watching